I'm Volker Heinz, I'm the CTA South Site Manager. Currently I'm planning for the site construction of the CTA South Array on ESO land at the Paranal Observatory. So, now we got the second radio. Now we are going towards the CTA site, which is about 10 kilometers away. It will take us about 20 minutes to get there. On our side there is no road yet, we have to go off-road for, for a little while. This road here is the, the most basic road. <laughs> Indeed it's bumpy, demanding for the car and the driver, but it's fun to go on them. The Cherenkov Telescope Array Observatory will have two sites, one in the Northern Hemisphere on La Palma, one of the Canary Islands, and the second site is here in the Atacama Desert of northern Chile. Now we are arriving to the CTA site. Uh, the altitude of the, of the site is about 2,150 meters. The telescopes will be installed in a, in a circle of a diameter of about 2 kilometers, a bit further south of where we are now. Here we are looking at the center of the array, where the four large size telescopes, the LSTs, will be installed. And right here in front of us, one of them will be erected. While on the northern side there will be LSTs and MSTs, the south side will host all three types of telescopes. The LSTs, the MSTs and the small size telescopes, the SSTs. There will be four LSTs on site. They have a mirror of 23 meter diameter. They weigh about 100 tons and they cover the lower end of the energy range. Of the medium sized telescopes, the MSTs, there will be up to 25 on site. They have a primary mirror of 12 meter and weigh about 82 tons. It's planned to have up to 70 SSTs on site. They will cover the higher end of the energy range, primary mirror of 4 meters, and the weight will be 17 tons. The mirrors of all three telescope types will be segmented, having a different number of segments depending on the diameter of the mirror. The big advantage of this site is that it's very remote, about 120 kilometers from the town of Antofagasta. Therefore, no light pollution will exist here on the site. This is one of the driest places on, on Earth, and um, be, being alone here in this silent desert, sometimes it feels like being on, on, on Moon or Mars, uh, so remote, so, so far away from civilization. Uh, it's a very unique place. The, the night sky here is absolutely amazing. You see the Milky Way brilliantly clear. It's absolutely fantastic. I believe that science is a part of our life and the curiosity of mankind brings us forward, makes the developments possible. Since many centuries, people are exploring the world. And nowadays, we do the same thing with telescopes, exploring the universe.